Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Google for Education's Applied Digital Skills Lessons Collection. I'll show you how you can find lessons, how to give them to your students via Google Classroom, and I'll show you the student perspective of how the lessons are completed. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So you'll find this at applieddigitalskills.withgoogle.com. And you can see right now, I'm not even signed in. I'm just gonna go ahead and browse the lesson library. And we'll see here, there are some collections, including the back to school and Google Workspace training. But if you scroll down here, you'll see that there are 160 lessons that you can look through. And they range in length from 45 minutes to nine hours and everywhere in between. And you can go over here to the left-hand side and you can see the filters. You can say, I want ones for middle school and high school. And I want ones that address using, let's say, Google search. And that'll give us a collection of 26 lessons that incorporate using Google search. Like this one here about evaluating the credibility of online sources or designing infographics or researching and developing a topic. But speaking of topics, on the left-hand side, you'll see there's even a topic filter that you can apply as well. So maybe we'll go down here to study skills. And now we have just two lessons that meet all of the filters that we have set. And that's evaluate credibility of online sources and organize group projects in Google Sheets. Now, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite lessons from the Applied Digital Skills Collection, and that is writing an if-then adventure story. And I want to share this to my Google Classroom. So I can look here before I'm even signed into my Google account, before I even share it. As a teacher here, I can look through all the activities that are going to be required, including watching some video clips in here and taking a quiz towards the end there. I can see the teaching materials tab here where I can look at the lesson plan itself, get certificates of completion, look at the rubric. But let's go ahead now and sign into my Google account where we can do even more like track our student progress and create a classroom with our class code if we need to. Let's sign with my Google account. I'm gonna use this Google account that I have here. And I'm going to be the teacher. And let's go ahead and sign up and well, I'll put in my age when I want to. That's my age. And fill this in. Our students are going to call me Mr. Byrne. And we are going to do this at an educational institution. And we can fill this in as you see right there. All right, so I finished filling in my information and I'm gonna connect it with my Google Classroom. And so, yes, I'm going to allow that to sync up with my Google Classroom rosters. And now I have my applied digital skills dashboard here as the teacher. And I can create a class for my students to join. And in this case, I'm just going to import one of my existing classes. I'm going to use my summer 2021 demo class. And I'll import that roster. And now I can look at my assignments. So right now I don't have any students. Let's say I'm going to add my students here. I'm going to share those instructions to my Google Classroom. Make sure I'm in the right Google account when I do that. There we go. And we're going to share it to my summer 2021 demo class. I'm going to make that an announcement. I'm going to post that for everyone in my class. And so I've now posted that, as we can see here, in my demo class. Please sign in to your applied digital skills using your Google account. 
So let's take a look at the student side of that. So this is my student demo here. This is my student account that I have created. And we see the announcement. Let's, as a student, sign in here. And there's Mason, our demo student. And he is a student here. And he's going to see that he's been invited to join a class. He's going to join the class. Got it. So now we'll go back to the teacher side and we will give an assignment to our students. So now we're back here on the teacher side. This is me signed in as the teacher. And I'm going to add some lessons for my students to do. Let's go ahead and click on that one. And the one that I want them to do is the one that I mentioned earlier about writing stories. So we can just do a search for it up here in the upper left corner if I are, because I already know the name of it. So we can see here, I just started typing writing an if then, and it pops up as my first suggestion. And we can see right here, share to Google Classroom or add to my class. I'm gonna add it to my class. It's gonna go right there to my summer 2021 demo class. And we're going to create that assignment. And again, make sure I'm signed into the correct account when I do this. And it's going to go to my summer 2021 demo class. Create that as an assignment. And just like any other Google Classroom assignment, I can give it a due date and assign it. So now let's take a look at how the student will see this assignment. So the student who has signed into this, to their Google Classroom, will see this assignment posted in Google Classroom, but they'll also see it in their dashboard for applied digital skills right here under my classes, right in If Then Adventure Story. And from here, completing the assignment is the same whether they start in Google Classroom or they start here in their dashboard for applied digital skills. I'm gonna write an If Then Adventure Story we're going to go ahead and start that and they can work through this whole lesson do all the activities here you're going to watch all these things you're going to follow the directions that are included in here and they will submit it now they're going to need to share their work and to put in a link to their project so they're going to share their work they haven't put in a link to their google doc yet so let's put in a link to the google doc that they're using or in this case the google slides that they're using to complete the project so here's mason's sample work that he's going to turn in i'm going to paste that in there i'm going to share that work and he can go in and open it at any time but now I want to look at this from the teacher perspective. So let's take a look at how a teacher would see this when it's turned in. So here I am in my teacher dashboard. And again, I can see here the lesson that I've given. I can see the progress that my students have made. And I can see the projects submitted by clicking on that tab. And I can see what Mason has submitted here. Now. I can also go over here to my Google Classroom and just like any other Google Classroom activity, I can look and see, okay, here it is. I'm gonna view that assignment and there's Mason's work right there. I can go and look at that if I need to as well. So that is a brief overview of Google for Education's applied digital skills lessons library and how you can give those lessons to your students as always for more things like this please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my youtube channel